the chatter we've been hearing of real-time penetrations into these two-way conferences and folks being able to hijack an individual and literally deep faking them, not only just penetrating and, and being jokesters, but literally capturing video in real time, taking over the broadcast from the individual and deep faking what they're saying. What are your thoughts on that? And what can we do from an encryption standpoint to kind of close the door on that a little bit? It's pretty clever uh, what they are able to do. Um, I think the first is, of course, processing power of, um, you know, of computers uh, is enabling this, this type of technology to happen, right? The, the fact that the real time, you know, deep fake that, that is happening. So that's on the one side that whilst maybe it was done kind of offline and, you know, you did it on, on your computer and, and manipulate it. The fact that the, the tools are now available to do that online pretty well. Um, and obviously the processing enables to do it, you know, is why you're see, seeing it today. Um, in terms of as we move ahead with video security, it's quite an interesting concept because we have to now start being able to able to detect deep fake. So I think that's going to be one of the first things is how do we know that it's, it's like authentication in a way, right? Authentication was about, you know, is this the real person who's accessing, you know, who's trying to access some content and, and do we let them in? You know, have they managed to securely authenticate and validate they are who they are? Um, and but now we're looking at the content itself and we'll have to be able to do some real-time manipulation as well in, in order to do that. So I'm sure there are going to be some, a lot of, you know, technology starting coming out and looking into that. And, and then, of course, really even classic technology is of, of stopping the deep faker being able to, uh, to take over should we say the stream um, in order to be able to do the deep faking? So, you know, in a way, maybe that might be an easier side to do to try to stop that uh, and prevent that uh, with you know classic authentication, but obviously some stronger, stronger models. Um, but then on top of that, if there is some, some deep fake going on, are we able to you know identify it and, and then stop it uh, or, or work out how we how we're going to deal with that? So it'd be interesting to see how much that takes off. Um, and uh, uh, how uh, you know, you know how people will, will um, take advantage of it. Um, it's quite interesting because that could be quite significant, right? You could be sitting in some Zoom with some somebody, it could be a senior executive or a customer or a decision maker, uh, and you can believe, you know, that conversation is really coming from that person, um, and the and the, the impact of that could be devastating, right? Right, of what that person says and does, um, and so uh, you know, certainly, I think there's going to be a lot of people looking into that. So uh, yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, video security and everything around video is always very interesting to me personally, um, and I think many people. And we'll see, uh, you know, and these are now new challenges that I think we will have to look into and address. New challenges, right? Every day. Thank you for that. 